Hello internet people, are you getting this annoying not secure message on your infinity free website? Or even worse, you see a crazy warning like this. In this video, I'll show you how to install a free SSL certificate on infinity free. This will secure your website and get rid of those warnings. In addition, I will show you how to always redirect your users from HTTP to HTTPS using a simple WordPress plugin. After this video, you will feel like this. Tape sweat punch. Now, the SSL certificate is totally free, but the drawback is that you will need to renew it every 90 days. So let's get started. All right, so this is my website and as you can see here, it's not secure and I'm hosting this on infinity free. It's my free website and I would like to have HTTPS on my website and with infinity free, you actually get a tool that uh, does it for you. So all you have to do is log into your infinity free account and this is the page you will end up and then here free SSL certificates, click on it and you can see that you have your domain here, which is in this case from Freenom. And what it tells you, you need to make sure that these records are available. So let's double check that we have those. So just duplicate this tab and then you have to go to accounts and here under your main account, manage and then control panel. This might take some time to load. Okay, let's make it quick because my horse is getting tired. So once it's loaded in this search field, just type in DNS and then you have here CNAME records. And now we need to add these CNAME records to this account and it's super easy. You just come in here and you grab the record name, copy and paste it in this field. And then same thing with the destination. Let's copy and place it in this field, destination field. For domain, I only have one, but uh, make sure you uh, choose the right one here. If you have multiple ones and then click on add. And you'll see here, CNAME record, you have this added. It adds the dot automatically, nothing you can do about it. So let's add the other one as well. So let's grab that one, copy, and then add it here. And then do the same for the destination and add it here like this. Now I have both of those here and it's just telling here that you need to make sure that these are in place. Now it's already warning that the DNS changes can take up to 24 hours to take effect. And you're probably thinking, get out of here. Get out of here, man. It's usually just a few minutes, but it may take up to 24 hours and just make sure you wait a little bit and uh, you can use a tool to check what your DNS is saying. And let me show you how you do that. Just copy both of these things. So your domain and the record name and then come to then come to this tool. I'll leave a link in the description. And here you have the TXT lookup. So add it here and just add a dot between them. So you have the name of the record, the C name record and your domain name. And then click on text lookup. Okay, awesome. So in my case, it's telling me that it's there. Now the TTL, you cannot set to anything else. So it's 24 hours. I think in my case it works because I already added before. Now, if the DNS record hasn't yet been propagated, you'll see something like this, where you'll have a red cross here and it says that the DNS record not found. Just double check that you've entered the correct value here and that it matches the one in infinity free. If everything is correct, but it doesn't show up, that just means it hasn't propagated yet. So be patient with this. You are on a free hosting, so it might take a bit of time. So come next day and check it out. Use this tool to check that if it's there or not, because otherwise it will fail. So now I can grab this and just double check that it's the same one as it's telling me here. So I'm just searching. I pressed on control F, added it here. And now I can see that, yes, it's exactly the same. This is what I want. And just double check that the other record is correct too. <laughs> otherwise you'll end up like this guy. All my calculations are wrong, even in my dreams. So now, what I can do is come here, 
and request SSL certificate. Let's try that. Status is pending and it will just check that everything is okay and you'll get a private key and certificate here. So let's wait a little bit until it's ready. Usually takes a few minutes and then let's see how it goes. And what you can do is just refresh the page to see if there's any changes. Still pending, so just wait for a few minutes. All right, for me, it took about five minutes for it to generate the certificate. And what you need to do now, you actually get the certificate just here and you just come here to your CNAME records and let's go back, just click on this Infinity Freed logo. And now in the search field, just type in SSL and under security, you have SSL slash TLS, just click on that. And now cPanel will do this. And now we need to configure SSL here for my punchsalad.ga domain. Let's click on that. Okay, on this page, we'll have to enter the private key and also the certificate. You can ignore the CSR for now. So come here, grab the, the whole private key. So even these lines, just grab all of it. Copy and come to this page in cPanel, paste it in, and then you need to click here, upload key. All right, you load the page, great. Now we need the certificate. Let's go back to this one, grab all of it, copy, come back to it and paste it in. And then here, click on upload certificate. Now, if you didn't see any errors, it means it worked. It's a bit hard to see because it didn't really tell you that it's actually worked. You can use a tool to double check if it worked or not. Here it is. I'll leave the link in the description, but basically you type in your URL here. So I'm going to grab it from this one and paste it in here. Don't need this stuff just like this and see what it gives. Everything is green. That's good. The certificate is valid for 89 days. That's awesome. It's issued by Let's Encrypt. That's the free SSL certificate provider. So we're all good. Now, when you go to your website, you might not see this. If I just refresh this page, actually nothing happens because you need to add HTTPS in front of it like this. And then if you refresh it, you should see a padlock before you start saying that it doesn't work. Just give it a few minutes and then try with the tool again. And then if it still doesn't work, then maybe there's an issue. So how's the tutorial so far? All due respect, sir, you're beginning to bore the hell out of me. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. Now we have this padlock, but it has this yellow warning. And this is just that the, some parts of your site is not on HTTPS. So that's easily solved if you're using WordPress. And if you're not using WordPress, just check out the link in the description where I show it how to do it for all the other websites. You can check what's the problem. So you just right click anywhere and then click on inspect element. Then this kind of thing opens up. It's on all browsers. And then you can come to console and somewhere here you should see mixed insecure display content. So basically these images are not loaded from HTTPS. You see, it's HTTP. So this is a problem for browsers. They don't like this. We're going to fix that in just a second. You lie. So head to your WordPress login page and log in. And here in the dashboard, go to plugins, add new. And then if you scroll down in the search field, just type in simple SSL. That's all you need. It will load the page here. And here, the first option, really simple SSL. Just install it. And then activate it. Scroll down until you use really simple SSL and click on settings. 
So in the SSL settings, if you scroll down, you can see SSL is not enabled yet, blah, 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 all of this stuff. The problem is that you are on HTTP. You can see that you have this padlock that is crossed out. What you need to do is log in actually. What you need to actually do is to log in with HTTPS and then refresh the page. And actually just log you out, but then log back in. And now you should see SSL acti activated if you don't, if you don't see this, what you need to do is you go back to really simple SSL settings. So settings and SSL. You should have a bo button here, here somewhere in this area saying start SSL or configure SSL. It's just a blue button. You press on it and then it refreshes everything and you should see this. So now if we head to our website, and refresh it. You can see that this didn't disappear yet, but if I go to HTTP, it will automatically redirect to HTTPS. Cool. And if you're not using WordPress, I have a video how to redirect HTTP to HTTPS on any website, and I'll leave the link in the description. So let's double check what's the issue still. Right click anywhere, inspect element. And then in console tab, you can see that these images are still loaded from HTTP. Looks like the simple SSL wasn't able to do everything for us. So in my case, it still didn't work. And now we actually have to do this manually. And this is probably caused by a Elementor or some other page builder that is not picking up any of this. So all you have to do is go to your WordPress dashboard and then you go to the pages where the issues appear. So click on all pages. So for example, if I want to fix the home page, I have to come here, edit the home page, and then click on edit with Elementor. And if for some reason this doesn't load, just try to change this to HTTP. Maybe that one helps. Okay. You can see already on this page, you have this warning. It shouldn't be there. So now you just need to go and see which images are the problem. So you can always double check on your site, right click anywhere, inspect element. Here in the console, you'll see these mixed insecure display content. So these are all the images that are broken. So for example, if I click on this one, okay, this image, all I need to do is come here, scroll down, and then I need to edit this. See, for example, this image, choose image. And the thing is, it looks like it's all good. You see, HTTPS here. But actually, all you need to do is just insert it again. And then if we update it, and you come here and refresh the page. So now you can see that actually the first one is another image. So we fixed that one. So let me just go ahead and fix everything. And I've speed up this part because I'm just doing the same process as I just showed you, same steps. I go into the image, I right click uh, to edit it in Elementor, and then I just uh, insert it again. Somehow Elementor doesn't get it right and still uses HTTP, although it should use HTTPS. And that's it. Now the site is fully secured and there's no warnings. Now you would need to do this for all the pages you have already built with Elementor. Now this doesn't happen all the time, but for me it didn't work, but you just follow the same steps. You go to the page and you just refresh the image. For some reason, there's some sort of bug where it doesn't work even with the plugins. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff. Make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Next, you will probably want to start writing content that ranks on Google. So check out my guide for on-page SEO optimization in the first video or see which plugins are must have for every WordPress site in the second video. Whoosh!